As we were talking about most of last week, most of your holiday weekend has been pretty good. Now we have been dodging thunderstorms each afternoon. We had some Saturday. We had more yesterday, even more so today. But still a lot of folks have enjoyed some pretty good weather. Downtown Lexington, we are well in between storms at this point, so things going off nicely here for the next you know, given maybe another hour or two before we're going to watch some other storms try and wander in. That's from the Lexington Center looking down at Triangle Park. And you see the overcast that's in place. So got one big batch of storms heading through the I-65 corridor. You've got another batch moving through eastern Kentucky and then steadier rain. Just this is convective. This is stratiform. And just in case you're keeping score at home, it just means this is steadier and this is more showery in nature. Now, motion today of this has been from east to west. You can make a case that this is the very edge of the circulation that is around Alberto. As you are looking at the storms that are going through eastern Kentucky, new lightning strikes there in northern Mor uh, Morgan County. As you folks in Frenchburg, you've got some real heavy rain that's about to arrive there at down to the uh, Mountain Parkway there in Campton as well. Again, the motion of this from east to west, so it's coming down 460, headed into Menifee County. We were watching some bigger storms around Lawrenceburg earlier. Those have dissipated out. The same one story with the one now over Harrington Lake, just outside of Lancaster. Then you get to the steadier rain in southern Kentucky. It's just been a good soaking rain for most. There are pockets where it's a little bit heavier. Flood watch runs from essentially 127 west in Kentucky, but those watches go all the way down to Florida. That is an association with Alberto. You can see the circulation of the storm. It has now come ashore, but you see all the rain that is associated with it as it spreads out to the north, and our rain is really just starting to get cranked up. We'll come in here. This is from Eglin Air Force Base. As you get a close-up view of Alberto, it came ashore at Laguna Beach about an hour ago, and with it, winds are at 45 miles per hour at this point. For this month, we are tracking a path toward history. Now, this is really interesting stuff. We are going to be tracking Alberto's rainfall and its effect on us, and the muggies, they are hanging around. The only chance we really have to not get to 80 is going to be on Wednesday, even though we're still forecasting 80, and if we make it, then it's all gravy after that as temperatures warm again toward next weekend. Today, with a high of 85, this is the 21st day where we have been 80 or better. That puts us now at third place on the list. Uh, we have a legitimate shot of breaking this record from 1944. You can also see where we are for the average high temperature. And for the month of May, this will be our warmest May on record. Unless we get a freeze coming in here by the 31st, which isn't going to happen. We are so far out in front on this uh, that the, the record, it looks like it will fall. 82 at the Bluegrass Airport. A little bit of an east wind, 14. Under the clouds, temperatures are held in the 70s this afternoon. London and Somerset, 82 in Flemingsburg, 81 in Mount Sterling. There is Alberto. You see it coming north across Alabama. The rain spreading out with it. On this current track, it will go west of I-65. Now, the heavier rain may be out there along the I-65 corridor, but on that type of path to the right of the center, our chance for a stronger storm exists, especially going into Wednesday with that. But again, Alberto, 45 miles per hour, gusting to around 60. It's moving north at 9 miles per hour on a path that will take it up through the Tennessee Valley for tonight. Variable clouds, a few lingering thunder showers will be around through the evening. We'll be into the upper 60s. Tomorrow it's low 80s. Some sun, a lot of clouds, scattered thunderstorms, and heavy downpours will be mixed in. Wednesday, oh look, rain. It lasts into Thursday and Friday. Hey, Saturday could be a dry day. Wow. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, listen, but, you know, but Friday, you were saying that... The weekend was not going to be a oh, complete yeah. washout. And this yeah. is a lot better than I think a lot of people expected. Yeah, and we were actually from the middle of last week talking about yeah. how most of this weekend ended up being fine. Yeah, yeah definitely. Except it rained both days at my house. Yeah, I know. I hate that Send some my way. It's a little dry on my side. <laughs> right. Thank you, Bill.